This is Earth Radio. And now here's human music. It's Christmas time and you know what that means. Oh, the touch of time. The music that you are currently listening is a piece of an AI-generated song, which is composed by this AI called Jukebox, a generative model for music, published by OpenAI on April 30th, 2020. It has the ability to generate music based on artists and genres, all the way from hip-hop to country music. The coolest part about this AI is that it has the ability to learn the artist's style and singing, and it has never been seen done so well before. Also in the song I've just played, we can clearly perceive the phonemes or even lyrics coming from this music piece. And this is made possible with three separate models of VQ, VAE, and sparse transformers. To explain it briefly, VQ VAE is an autoencoder where it takes in the original audio it's got to be your own decision. and reconstruct it on the other side, which each layer have a different level of details, which are focused on when reconstructing the audio. On the bottom level, we have a very detailed decode of the compressed audio. It's got to as it focuses on music and sound clarity in a very short time range, which results in a high audio quality. On the middle level, the autoencoder focuses on the short-term consistency of the song, like a sentence or a chorus, but it contains a bit of loss in quality. It's got to be your own decision. On the top level, it decodes into the lowest quality but contains high-level semantics like the singing and the melodies. This lets the song that's being generated learn the long-term patterns and structures of the original song. These three layers basically covers all the aspects that needs to be considered rendering a piece of music. All three of these tracks are then composed together with the model sparse transformers by sampling each layer, resulting in a more considerate music generation. Originally, the lyrics pose a problem. The AI does not know where they should be located in a piece of song, and generating them randomly is like feeding subtitles randomly into a movie. But surprisingly, Jukebox overcame this problem by having an encoder also being trained to align lyrics against the songs. The more defined the line is, the more certain the AI is about the presence of the lyrics at that certain time frame. This also extended into having a lyrics generating model within the Jukebox AI as it generates lyrics and combine it with a song without lyrics, which creates the same song with new lyrics, which is really fascinating. There are also two other functions along with generating unseen lyrics. One is re-renditions where the AI generates completely different instrumentals or the music but with the same lyrics of a song that was trained upon. And another one is called completions where it completes the song based on the first 12 seconds of the original. And here are some examples of all three different types of generations within different genres. From dusty tiny bumble scarf, the lip he tells the heart. When my toes slip, when my hair is sizzling fine. I've got a dead dream, dead in the outwood. Where is my clothes? Why am I here? Again tonight. 
Well, in the end, as amazing as this AI is, it is still far from perfect competing against human-produced songs. And sometimes the bot will probably decide to give you some... <sighs> ear rape. I don't know what was dying in the background, but... That was pretty horrific. Also, this jukebox AI requires a very long render time, like average around 9 hours per 1 minute of audio, which is crazy. So be prepared if you want to play it around yourself. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time.